Hi, Bonbon bon here. Another week, another Skylines 2 mod featurette, and another mod that users of the original game will likely recognise. This is another mod which doesn't work in isolation, so I may be making a follow-up video in the near future showing how to get the best from this mod and others. Today we'll be showcasing its existence for those players who didn't realise they even needed it. The line tool is designed as a convenience device for detail city builders and has some special features that I don't recognise from the original game version. A shout out to Algernon for developing the line tool for City Skylines 2 and for all their work over the years in the first game. First, let's subscribe to the mod. There's a link in the video description for your convenience. And then, launch your game. Let's start with a basic line of trees. Open the tree menu and select a tree to draw out. Doing this accurately by hand is slow and time consuming. You'll notice that the mod integrates directly with the in-game tools, and so no hotkey is required. The first option is the default setting for placing single items, but selecting line mode opens a bunch of new options. For now, let's just draw out a line of trees. Next, let's adjust the spacing between the items. I'll increase this to 30 meters, then click, drag, and click again. But what about if you have a fixed space to fill? Here we want a line of trees the full length of the path, but we still want about 30 meters between trees. But when we do this, there's an awkward gap at the end. We could try estimating the instep at the source end, and that would do. But the tool comes with a fixed length option, where the first and last items are set in place, and the line filled out to approximately our preferred distance. Next, let's look at rotation. Trees aren't the easiest to see actually being rotated, so I'm going to switch to a long thin prop for this next exercise. The first option will keep the item's rotation relative to the line that we draw, be it straight or curved. You can change the rotation in 10 degree increments by clicking the up and down arrows, or one degree changes by doing the same with the control button held. You can even do this after selecting the start point on the line. The second option is absolute rotation, where the items will all face in the same direction no matter where the line goes. And thirdly, we have random rotation, which I'd recommend every time for your trees, as it makes each single placement look unique and not just like a line of carbon copies. Sticking with trees, another way of helping to make each feel more unique is using the space and offset variation controls. You can increase and decrease in one meter steps or hold control for 10 centimeter steps or shift for 10 meter steps. Easy boy. The first row is with no variations. The second row is with 1 meter space variations. The third row is with 1 meter offset variations. And finally, the fourth row is with 1 meter space and 1 meter offset variations. And all are with random rotations. Line tool isn't just set for straight lines. You can draw curved ones too, as well as a dedicated circle tool with rotation, spacing, and offset variations following the same rules as before. Finally, we have some tool options, such as fence mode for putting items end to end, a bit like a fence. And we have wall to wall mode, especially handy for drawing out lines of homes. Note, this is wall to wall and not garden to garden, so it doesn't work cleanly on all properties. There's also a randomizer and seed changer for those of you with fewer control issues than me. And that just about covers all you need to know with the line tool. It does work flawlessly with Anarchy, so if you want to learn more about that, there's a link to that tutorial at the end of this show. As always, if you found this tutorial useful, give the like button a click, 
or why not subscribe to the channel to keep up with all the latest mods for the game. Thanks to all the bonbon buddies on Patreon and YouTube membership for your continued support of the channel. You guys are the very, very best. And thanks for watching, for commenting, for liking and for subscribing. I've been Bonbon B and you've been very, very welcome.